Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. This is Jen's Happy Home. Please make sure that you're subscribed so that you can be updated every time I share a new and fun video. I have lots of fun content coming up in the near future and also throughout the summer I shared a lot of vacation vlogs and they were so much fun to share. So if you haven't seen them yet, go ahead and check them out. We went to Universal and Disney World. We had so much fun and I loved reliving all of those memories by having the ability to upload, edit, and share with you guys. So happy August. I cannot believe that it's already August. This summer has been going so quickly. I am not ready for the fall. I am not ready for cold weather. I just want to live in summertime forever right now. But it's August, so let's enjoy what is left of the summer. And I'm going to share with you some of my favorite things from July. And you guys may have seen them through my travels or through purchases that I made and shared with you guys in hauls. If you've been following my channel, you may have likely seen some of these items. But now I can tell you how I felt about them. And obviously they're a favorite of the month, so they worked out really well for me. Okay, let's get started. So I have really bad receding gums, like major issues. I need to have surgery, kind of freaking out about it. But anyway, I'm trying to do things to help it before it gets worse, even though I will need to get surgery. I'm just trying to make myself as comfortable as possible until I get to that point. So I invested in an electric toothbrush because it's a lot more gentle on your teeth. At first I felt like it was very aggressive and I was always scared to use an electric toothbrush, but apparently what it does is there's a sensor on it. So when it's pushing too hard, it will automatically pause itself to stop, which is great because I think a big part of my problem is aggressively over brushing. Um, so I really, really like this. I got it at Target. Here's the actual toothbrush and it just has one level. Some have like a couple where you can like press the button several times and get different intensities, but this just has one. But I do like that it stops when it is pressing too hard. And this is Sonic Hair by Philips. It's Protective Clean 4100 is the model. I couldn't believe how many different models of electric toothbrushes are out there. I literally stood in the Target aisle for like 45 minutes reading about all of these different electric toothbrushes but this one's like really pretty pink too so <laughs> I think it had that going for it but um, what I liked about this is the pressure sensor the brush head replacement reminder so it'll tell you when you need to replace the brush head um, a quad pacer and smart timer and Obviously it's waterproof. Why would they even put that on here? A toothbrush that's waterproof, duh. <laughs> it's safe and gentle, sensitive gums, and there's a two year warranty on it. So yeah, that's that was like my uh, big purchase <laughs> and I've been using it and really liking it and I just feel like it's not allowing me to overbrush and be too aggressive on my teeth and gums. Something else that I recently purchased, I seriously have a planner problem because I love my planner. I'm currently using the Plum Paper Planner and I've really been enjoying it. But I get to a point, like when I get a brand new shiny planner, I'm so nice and neat and I use all the decorative stickers and everything is great. And then real life happens and I'm just scribbling everywhere, like literally scribbling and crossing things off and rewriting them and crossing them off again. And I mean, in a perfect world, I would use sticky notes and then I would like write it down neatly later on. But when you are really busy. You just don't take the time to do those things. So my plum paper planner got a little bit out of control and then I wasn't really wanting to use it anymore because it was so messy. Anyway, long story short, I got the happy planner because for a couple of years now, I have been scoping out this brand and they have like Disney princesses and Mickey and Minnie and all of these Disney themed planners. And every year I'm tempted to get it. And every year I just don't for whatever reason. And then I'm kicking myself. And a lot of you guys are always like sending me Instagram messages and things like with the new planners that are out and telling me, oh, you should get this one or you should get that one. And I'm like, I know, why didn't I? So. 
this year I did get the, I think this is the Oasis collection by the Happy Planner and it has Mickey Mouse on it. If you guys want to see a walkthrough, maybe I'll share that with you guys as well. I just don't know if that's something you would be interested in. But what I ended up doing was I wanted an 18 month planner because I wanted to start now. And this is a 12 month planner that begins in January. But a feature that also one of you guys told me about was that this has the ability to add pages. So I was able to get a six month add on. What? <laughs> so I started it in July and I've been using it and I've been loving it. So I have uh, six months added to the beginning and then it takes over from there with uh, beginning in January with the Oasis collection, Disney themed pages. So my front page Pages are pretty basic, but that's okay. I am making it work. And I love these little tabs on the end. Like you can click them in and out and replace them if you wanted to. And you can take the pages in and out as well. So I feel like if I end up making a page just like total scribble scrabble and ruining it, I could always, I have like refill pages. I could always pop one of those in and throw the other page out. Um, even though it probably wouldn't be a perfect match. It's something I could do. So I love that idea of it. And I just think it's so cute. So again, if you want to see more about this, let me know. I actually did film an unboxing, but I don't know if I'm going to share it yet because I just, I just don't know if anyone cares enough. <laughs> but if you do, let me know and I will share. Okay. Love this. Oh, and also something else. It has the months on both sides. So like you see the tabs here, it has it on this side and my newer ones don't have it, but like on this side as well. So thought that was great. Okay. On our vacation, it rained like ridiculous. It was insane. The amount of rain that we got in Florida. And this year I invested in these shoes, sandals, I should say called Tevas. And I really didn't love the looks of them. Like I just, it's just not really my style, but I figured I would give them a try because I watched some other Disney vloggers that raved about these because they're waterproof and they're really comfortable. And they are, they are both waterproof and really comfortable. I was able to walk around in these things all day long. And if there was a torrential downpour and I was soaking wet, these dried like so quickly. And I did wear my sneakers as well and it did pour on me and I had wet sneakers that I had to try to dry out in the sun, try to put in the dryer at the hotel. It was such an annoyance. So definitely highly recommend these. Again, they're called Tevas and I just got this like basic gold kind of shimmer because I figured it would go with everything. But if you can see how thick the cushioning is on it and there's a little bit of an arch and they were just super comfortable. I'm still wearing them pretty much every day this summer. I'm loving them. This is another trip item that was a game changer. So this is a lanyard for your phone. And where's my phone? I don't have my phone on me. But basically you take the case, well, you have a couple of options. What I did was you slip this in your case and you click the phone onto it and it just hangs. Like this little tab here goes right through um, the end of your phone. So like, let me just show you, you slip this little coil in through the bottom of your phone and then you clip this on and you know your phone definitely is not going anywhere. There's also a sticker side. So if you didn't want to do it that way, you can stick it right to your phone case. I just felt more safe and more secure having this like actually in my phone case because I knew there was no way it could come out and assuming there's a possibility that you could lose the stick. I don't know how sticky it is, but I just didn't want to take that chance and I didn't want to ruin my phone case. But I was traveling with some teachers and I basically had my phone around my neck the whole trip and I was using it for vlogging, which made it so easy because every time I saw something I wanted to record, I could just pull my phone up and record it. So it was perfect. But my teacher friends said that they always have to um, carry their phones around with them during the day and it's really annoying and they wear these lanyards anyway with their ID on it because that's what they need to do as teachers. So I think I have um, <laughs> convinced them all to get this and to have their ID on it because again it just has this little clip so you could clip other things on it and to have their phone accessible at all times. So 
I love this. And it came, I think, in a three pack. Like you can get multiple different colors and designs and they're super duper cheap. And I just think it's like the most amazing creation that there ever was. <laughs> So my skin, I always say my skin gets so dry in the winter, but now it's also getting so dry in the summer and I am drinking so much water and it's been so humid, but I guess I've just been having a lot of time in the sun and in the water and everything else. And I always have a really hard time finding lotion that is either hydrating enough but also not too sticky. Like, especially this time of year, I hate to feel like really like gross and sticky and sweaty and just ugh. So I found this lotion that I've been using all summer. It's the Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. And it says it helps to heal very dry skin. And I love it. It has triple oat complex and it's fragrance free with natural shea butter. <laughs> But anyway, I have been putting this on every day after my shower and I think it works amazing. It's not sticky. It's really hydrating. So I think my biggest problem is I put lotion on and like a couple of hours later, my skin looks dry and scaly again. Not with this. This has been working really well. I'm hoping I can use this through the winter as well because it does have a really nice texture to it um, and I'm really enjoying it. So highly recommend if you've been on the search for a good moisturizer that's not ridiculously expensive and works really well, give this one a try. I feel like I have a lot of bath and beauty products this time. And one thing about my favorites video, I feel like I don't have like categories. I know a lot of YouTubers who do favorites are like health and beauty and home goods and snacks. And like they have all of these great categories that they fill every time. But when I do that to myself, I feel pressure to like, fabricate something that is great in regards to, I don't know, home goods, where maybe there really wasn't anything that month. So I just pick like, I try to find like 10 things that I found myself really enjoying over the month. And even if it wasn't just specifically that month, if it's been like several months, I've been really enjoying this product and I haven't talked about it yet with you guys, I feel like I wanna be very genuine and not have like this pressure to find specific categories of things. So if it's a little bit heavy um, on one thing and not the other, like that's the reasoning why. Anyway, <laughs> Dr. Teal's Epsom Soul. I think I like might have filmed this on a uh, favorites a long time ago, but it wasn't this kind. So back in, I don't know, March, April, and May, I think, I was in my worst mental state, I think that I have ever been. And I know I'm not alone in that. The world is a crazy, scary place to live in right now. And I think that around that time, we were all just feeling it. And I was in a really, really bad place. I just, I hope I don't ever go back to that place. It was bad, guys. And I wasn't eating and I wasn't sleeping. And I really just was incapacitated from doing much of anything at that time. And my mom kept telling me to try taking melatonin so at least I would sleep at night, but I don't like to take things. It's just, it's one of my many paranoias, just I'm scared to take a vitamin, to take a Tylenol, to take cold medicine. I just don't like putting something in my body and then not knowing what it's gonna do to me. I, it's just a, a me thing, okay? <laughs> I had situations and things happen in the past, having adverse reactions to things that just makes me apprehensive to try new things unless I absolutely have to. Anyway, she got me this. She's like, you're not ingesting it. It's just taking a freaking bath. You can handle it, right? <laughs> So I've been using this on nights that I just feel really stressed out and I just feel like I'm not going to be able to calm down and go to bed. It works really well. The first time I used it, I think I was just already so exhausted from lack of sleep and I was out. Like it just put me, I took a bath and I read for a few minutes and like, like that, I was just out. So it does work really well. It is very gentle. My daughter actually used it. My 10 year old used it. I don't think there's anything saying that she couldn't now, but 
you can read the instructions on the back. Look, it's so cute with the moon too. Like, I don't know why. I just think that's so adorable. There's like a moon on the top. And it says it helps to ease aches and soreness from muscle pains and it promotes a better night's sleep. And it's there's melatonin in it with essential oil blends. It has pure Epsom salt, melatonin and lavender and chamomile. So it's really nice. You can see it's just about empty. There's just a little bit left. I have to get more. But if you like to take a bath and you need something to help you sleep, give this a try if you don't want to actually take any type of like medication or melatonin or anything like that. I got a new perfume in Disney. I love this perfume. It's been such a long time since I have found a perfume that like I legit want to put on every day. It's called Lila, and I actually met the perfumer who makes it because he happened to be at the perfume shop at the time of my purchase, so it was really exciting to meet him and talk to him, and you can see I have his signature right on the back there as well. And it just smells so light, so fresh, not overpowering. I feel like my biggest problem with perfumes is they usually give me a headache or they nauseate me. Even if like when I initially try it, I think it's the most wonderful fragrance. Usually after like wearing it all day or wearing it multiple times, I kind of start to gag. <laughs> like I just, I don't usually like perfume enough to wear it often, which is why most of the time I'll buy it, I'll wear it like out to dinner a couple of times and then it'll go bad and I'll end up ditching it. This is just so pretty. Let me just, I don't know how to explain the fragrance. It is like a little bit floral, but it's also a very fresh, like kind of out of the laundry <laughs> floral. Um, it doesn't smell artificial either. And I don't know, I just really love it. So definitely give it a try. I thought you could only purchase it in Norway in Disney World, but I think like Bloomingdale's has it. There is definitely like a higher end store that does sell it. And even though I'm saying it's a higher end store that sells it, this perfume was not ridiculously expensive. Don't remember exactly what it was. I think I spent about $100, but I had a DVC discount. They were running a special with the perfumer being there, and I got like a purse with it, and I got lotion with it, and a little sample perfume. So, so it was like a whole package deal for 100 bucks. and I've had perfumes that were just the bottle alone, sometimes even smaller than this, that were more than $100, so. So totally worth every penny. And finally, this was a gift from a friend. It is this big Mickey tote and it's insulated. It's the perfect size for bringing snacks for a family to the beach. I'm actually, the tag's still on it, but I am going to be using it on a trip that we're taking this weekend. We're going to the seashore and we're going to be spending a couple of days at the ocean. And I have been wanting a cooler this size all summer because we are going to the beach a lot and spending the whole day there. And I don't wanna bring one of those really big, heavy plastic coolers, because I usually just have a couple of bottles of water and some chips and maybe I'll bring a sandwich. And on our last trip, I actually borrowed a cooler that was this size from a friend and brought it to the beach with me every day. So I am super excited to have this now for the rest of the summer and to be able to pack a lunch and have plenty of space for like extra drinks and snacks. I probably literally could just bring this to the beach, hold my towel and have everything else that I need in here. I love the 31 bags. If you guys have been following any of my packing videos in the past, you know I am always using those 31 bags to come and go from every place that I come and go from. <laughs> but I don't have anything quite this size. Everything is either much bigger than this or much smaller. And I just feel like this is the perfect size for um, shorter stays places. And just if I'm going to the lake for just a couple of days, I don't really need like a whole big cooler. This is perfect. And let me just show you how cute the Mickey Mouse is on it because you guys know I'm Mickey obsessed. There is a little front zipper compartment. So if I wanted to bring a book or something, I could just slip a book in here and then inside is just nice and big and plenty of space. Really nice structure to it too. Nice solid base at the bottom. And I'm really excited to go to the beach now. I'm actually gonna be packing today. <laughs> so I think that is from Marshalls. I know, I know I've seen something 
either this exactly or something very similar to this at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that, one of those stores. So if you are interested in this bag, definitely give them a try. I think you could probably find it there. All right. I feel like this video is so long. I hope that you guys are still watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of my favorites from the month of July. Let me know in the comments below some of your favorites from this summer. I'd love to hear about it. If you're not subscribed, please, please go ahead and subscribe, especially if you've been watching my videos. If you find that you never um, took a moment to hit the subscribe button, please do it. I have been trying so hard, so hard for so long to make it to 10,000 subscribers. I know it's just a number, but I try to set goals for myself so that I work hard and I have something to, to try to reach, you know, <laughs> trying to reach it. So please help me, help me reach that. All you need to do is click that little red button. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.